Welcome to our course Power Apps from B2S. In this video, we will talk about Power Apps Basics as the first lesson in Module 1 Power Apps Getting Started. Let me first list the lesson outlines. In this lesson, we will have an overview about Microsoft Power Platform by exploring the four main components Power BI, Power Apps, Power Automate, and Power Virtual Agent. After that, we will have an introduction to Power Apps as a part of Power Platform. And we will list the Power Apps main features. At the end, we will discuss how to use Power Apps, in which we will discuss the different ways for signing up to Power Apps. So, we will start with a journey to Microsoft Power Platform. The Power Platform consists of four products, Power BI, Power Apps, Power Automate, and Power Virtual Agents. The Power Platform combines these products into one powerful business application platform. The Power Platform quickly and easily build the custom applications. Besides that, the Power Platform automates workflows and integrate AI capabilities. Also, it brings all your data together into a common data model and easily supports multiple data connections allowing you to bring your data together from many platforms into a single automation so you can use them all in one place the bar platform allows users to extend microsoft 365 and dynamics 365 and azure to help improve business processes systems and workflows this is the bar platform and as we said that the bar platform consists of four products Power BI, Power Apps, Power Automate, and Power Virtual Agents. So let's define these products. Starting with the Power BI. Power BI combines data gathering, data storage, and knowledge management with analysis to evaluate information presentation for planner and decision makers. We can consider Power BI the analytic leg of the Power Platform that lets you visualize your data and enable you to connect to hundreds of data sources and bring your data to life with live dashboards and reports. So, Power BI provides non-technical business users with tools for aggregating, analyzing, visualizing, and sharing data. This is Power BI. The second component is Power Apps. Power Apps is another offering from Microsoft associated with the Office 365 tools to build custom applications and drive process automation. The public preview of Power Apps was in April 2016. We can see that Power Apps is the low-code developing environment that makes applications to fit your business need. And you can browse these applications through the web or from your mobile. We will speak deeply later about Power Apps, as it is the aim of our course. Next, we will talk about the third component of Power Platform, the Power Automate. Power Automate was power flow in the past, until October 2019 and then Microsoft update its name to Power Automate. Power Automate is a standalone component in Microsoft 365 that enables you to build automated workflow. And the Power Platform has actions and the triggers for interfacing directly with Power Apps. You can use Power Automate to manage repetitive business processes, such as communication and decision approvals, and perform tasks when events occur. This is Power Automate. And the last component is Power Virtual Agents. We can call Power Virtual Agents with no good graphical interface that create chatbots without the need for data scientists or developers. Power Virtual Agents enable you to use AI-based automation to assist your customers and employees. Also, it connects to your back-end system using hundreds of connectors that come with Power Platform. These are the four products or components in Power Platform. Now, let's start our way to Power Apps. We will know what is Microsoft Power Apps and who can build these apps. Let's take a deeply introduction to Power Apps. The public preview of Power Apps was in April 2016. The Power Platform is associated with the Office 365 tools. We can say that Microsoft Power Apps is a business app creator from the Power Platform that helps companies design solutions for their customers in the form of mobile or web applications. The apps you created by Power Apps lives in the cloud and easily shared across department or entire organizations. Power Apps provides developer or non-technical users with very quickly application developing environment that mostly based on drag and drop technique, and that what sets Power Apps different from the other platform tools. This means that it is quite possible for Power Apps Power user to create a custom app, as there is no programming or app development skills required. 
Power apps help you building applications for mobiles and web to fit your business need and make action on your data. And power apps can be used for many processes involving workflow and transform your manual business process to automated process that will be available for Windows, tablets, iOS devices and Android devices also using in data visualization, reporting, collaboration and more that will be helpful to your organization. In Power Apps, you will find AI Builder capabilities that allows Power Apps to tap into Microsoft's AI and machine learning frameworks and develop smarter and more advanced apps. So, let's know about the AI models that are provided in Power Apps. You will find AI models in Power Apps such as the prediction model that predict where something will happen or not, or we can say the yes or no outcomes. And this prediction is based on the previous data history. AI will help you answer these questions. And you will find in Power Apps form processor model that extract text from an image and the object detector model that detect object from an image. Also, we can find the text classification model that classify text by its meaning. We will speak about the AI capabilities in a separate models. So now we can conclude that Power Apps is a collection of apps, services and connectors that work together to help you access your data and update it from any device and you can call it Microsoft Locode Development Platform. This is the Power Apps. There are many benefits of implementing the Power Apps platform into your, into your business. The main feature of using Microsoft Power Apps is its stable functionalities integration and accessible on multiple platforms including iOS, Android and Windows devices so each app developer can work on his preferred environment. Let's know more about Power Apps feature. Using Power Apps helps you create responsive design that will be suitable for browsing from web or mobile in responsive layout that looks good on all devices. This means that apps will render themselves according to whatever devices you use. Another feature is browsing and sharing. You can run your apps in browser or on mobile devices. You can share your app with individual users, with a security group or with everyone in your organization. Also, apps can be shared with a guest users of an Azure Active Directory tenant. This enables inviting external business partners and contractors and third parties to run your company's applications. Power Apps is easy app creation. You can easily start using the services via a set of templates that already exist, or you can start your apps from scratch and the most coding done in drag and drop. So it will be easy to create an app with Power Apps. Another feature is its ability to connect to many data sources. Using Power Apps can allow you to connect to many data sources in the same app as it supports multiple data connections. So you can use these connections to connect to the data sources that you will need in your apps. And you will find it so easy. Another benefit is its speed. One of the biggest benefits of Power Apps is how quickly one can develop a useful functioning app. As Power Apps provide drag and drop interface that provide many times consuming for creating a user interface linking from fields to code and data than the usual development process, so it will save your time. Another feature is Power Apps integration with the Office 365 and Microsoft Flow and Microsoft Power BI. Also, you will find Power Apps connectors that enables you to connect to many standard data services and use them with Power Apps. For example, you can connect to SharePoint or Dynamics 365 or OneDrive, Dropbox, SQL Server and many others. Another feature is the history versions. Power Apps keep a history of the changes you made, so you can restore your app to a previous version. It keeps the version for the last 6 months so you can back to any of them. And with Power Apps you will have low cost, as Power Apps consume low cost compared by the traditional development. These are the main features of Power Apps, and we will explore many features during our course. So, let's know about how to sign up and use Power Apps. Actually, to sign up for Power Apps, you must have a work or school email address, as you can sign up using your personal email address. There are different ways to use Power Apps. Some are paid and some are free. If you have a Power App license or a license through Office 365, then you have 
the license to access Power App. We will talk in details about license in the administration module. Next, if you don't have any license for Power Apps and you want to use Power Apps, then you will have two options. The first one is to sign for free trial that will give you 30 days of temporary access to Power Apps features. So you can extend the capabilities of Office 365 such as SharePoint Online, Excel, Team, and more. Besides that, you can create and run Canvas and model-driven apps. You can create workflows with Power Automate and manage environment and common data service. But be aware, after 30 days, your trial will expire, and you can request an extension of the trial or purchase a plan 30 days that will be covered in details within the administration module. This is the first option of the free license. The second option is to use the Power Apps Community Plan. The Power Apps Community Plan gives you a free development environment for individual use, where you can create and run applications and use common data service. You can connect to any data source using many connectors. Besides that, you can use premium connectors like Salesforce, DB2, and more. But in the community plan, you can share apps, flows, connections, and other features with any other users of your tenant. You also can add any other user as an environment admin or maker, or to the database rules from the admin center. This is the second option for the free license. And now we can see that it is the end of lesson 1. In this lesson, we have learned what is Microsoft Power Platform and the four products or components of Power Platform. And we had an overview about the AI capabilities that used in Power Apps. We know what are the main features that lead us to use Power Apps. And at the end, we know the different ways to sign up for Power Apps. Next, we will have a demo to sign up for Power Apps. Thanks.